Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Scepter. Uh, Mrs. Sleuth is just back from an event. Uh, she's had a few drinks and being very playful. She actually wanted to start the recording by saying hello to the camera. Instead, she's just uh, giving us a couple of fingers from outside the camera. Uh, not to be rude to anyone in the UK, it's just uh, a peace sign. <laughs> Anyhow. Scepter, if you haven't already guessed, this is a 7x7 Sudoku, and it's actually the first time I've, ever, I've seen something similar to this. And uh, it's, it sounds so magical that you can see Sleuth is just mesmerized by it, uh, thinking about a whole bunch of magical things in this uh, mystical setting. Anyhow, uh, shall we just crack on with the solve and see what we have in store? As you can see behind me, it's pretty dark. Uh, it'd be good to post this and get back to bed very quickly. So, Scepter by Fractal Gym. I don't think I've actually played any puzzles from Fractal Gym before. It's a one-star difficulty rating. It has got a rating of 93% as of the time of recording. Uh, so looking forward to it. Fairly straightforward set of rules. Normal 7x7 Sudoku rules, if such a thing is normal. Enter the numbers 1 to 7 once each in each row. Each column and each of the regions. And you can see this is an irregular Sudoku. We don't have boxes or rectangles today. I think it'll be very difficult to do so with seven um, in here. And they're not necessarily even regularly the same shape. So you've got this kind of rectangle with a additional square, but this one here almost looks like a, an inverted, not an inverted, just a T. Uh, what else do we have? Region sum lines. So the blue line in here is a region sum line. So the region's borders divide the region sum line into sections that sum to the same value. For clarity, when a diagonal section of a line touches the corner of a region, the corner does not split the line. Right, I think I got what that means. So let's imagine, I don't know, uh, let's go with, this is a bad place to, this is a bad place to, yeah, let's try this cell. So if this cell is, is three, this section would have to essentially add up to three with these two cells, since we're saying that each region's kind of section adds up to three. Then these two cells would have to be one, two, these would have to be one, two, etc., etc. I really picked a bad example in here. But as long as essentially the, the total sum is equal to the total sum in any region, you're good to go. Notice, uh, and it didn't explicitly say that in the rules, that would be one sum, that would be a second sum, that would be a third sum. So the fact that you've got multiple lines or the same line segmented multiple times in the same box, uh, just watch out for whatever that means. Right, uh, I feel like I'm already half solving this. So uh, if you wanna play along, as always, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. And I really must apologize because I'm sure anyone that's familiar with region sum lines, you've already figured out that these are sevens. Now, the reason I kind of um, noticed that immediately, and this is another seven just from Sudoku, is essentially you've got one pair that adds up to whatever the value is, you've got a second pair, these two cells that will add up to whatever the value is, then you have a third pair uh, over here. And essentially, I mean, there's so many ways you can get to this. Um, you need a number that essentially get, has three different pairs. Clearly, one is too small, two is too small, three only has a single pair, which is one, two, four only has a single pair, which is one, three, five has two pairs, you know, one, four, and two, three. Six also only has two pairs, so one, five, and two, four. Seven is the only one that actually has one. Um, the other way, obviously, that would have been easier is just noticing that there are six cells that are part of the sums. So you need all of the digits, one to six, or, you know, six numbers. And therefore, whatever this is has to be what's on the value because it can't be a subset. You know, there's no zeros allowed on any of these. These two cells have to be the same. Anyhow, uh, enough with the coloring. Let's see what that actually means. Now that we know that this is a seven, yeah, we can see what else we can do. Seven in three 
um, with three digits, three unique digits that sum up to seven, there's only one way of doing that, which is one, two, four. That four here eliminates these two cells. That's a four. This is one, two. This is not a four. This is not a four, just Sudoku. This is another four. This is another one, two. What else can we do? This cell, or these two cells, they're not three, four, because there's a four already. They're not one, six. There's a six already. This is two, five, which gives me a one, gives me a two. Excellent. These two digits now are one and three. You can do a bit of, and I guess we kind of have to now, so I should finish finish that thought. So I'm just looking around for for easy next steps. You know, what's the most natural thing that, actually that's just a one, just the most natural thing would be a Sudoku. So for example, in column seven, where is the one? It can't be these two cells because one, two's taken it. Can't be any of these cells because that one is here. Can't be the six, that's the only place for a one. That's the only place for a three. Now, the other thing that I was actually going to point out is with the sixes eliminated from these three cells, the six has to be up here and its partner would have to be down there. Got the same thing going on with the fours and threes. So essentially the three that partners with the four is down here. In fact, that's not a four. Therefore, that's not a three. And that would have given us the one three as well. Just Sudoku was easier, quicker, etc. Uh, these cells, not that interesting. I'm just looking for things where I'm not going to have to pencil mark triples. I'm not sure I'm so lucky, actually. Four, four. Can I do much more with four? So four is in these two cells. Yeah, we've got an X-wing on four, so we're not going to finish that. Sevens, maybe. We need a seven in here. We need a seven in this region. So seven. Yeah, where is seven in um, row four? Five, five, six, seven. Yeah, row, f row five. Not here. Not on the region some... Oh, actually, that is a seven. Come on, sleuth. That was another one cell. That removes that seven from this region because this region just was Sudoku. None of these cells, none of this cell. That's the only place that's left. I think we can finish this, can't we? That eliminates all of these. No, we've got another seven X-Wing similar to the four X-Wing not resolved. What about this logic here? Yeah, this could still be 1625. Not... Again, this could still be 1, 6, and 2, 5. I mean, the 1 and 2 gives restricts it somewhat. So that would be the 1, that would be the 6, that would be the 2, that would be the 5. But not 3, 4, and obviously the 7 is not on there. So I guess I can... I mean, essentially what it's pointing me towards now is not necessarily the region sum line to conclude this, but just a bunch of Sudoku and a bunch of pencil marks. So that's what I will do. One, two, four, six. So three, five, seven is the remaining digits. That's not a seven. One of these two is a two. You know, my scanning is is really not great and I sometimes take Sudoku and make it look very difficult and it really shouldn't be it's not deliberate essentially we have another one two and five and six so this is five or six it can't be this one two this one two could be in either of these however that can't be a one so this would be two five six this would be one five six yeah I'm not liking this pencil marks it's not helpful. I should be thinking about Sudoku. So this is three, five, six, sorry, three, six, seven. 
not seven. We have another one five and another three six. Interestingly, just I don't think this is the solution path. One of these is going to be one five. No, I can avoid one and six totally. I can actually have three five, for example. That's absolutely legitimate. And for a second, I thought I eliminated one six, which would have given me one sixth and three four as a pair, and this would have been two five, but no. And realistically, the two five are going to be on these two cells for a uniqueness. So it can be resolved. Otherwise, if it's in either of these cells, that would create a deadly pattern. So but we're not going to use that for the solve. Right. What am I missing? I'm sure it's Sudoku. I'm sure it is. ones maybe hmm Sorry it's taking me so long to spot the next step. Not quite sure why that's the case. Right, so I've thought about this one. I'm just gonna just double check if I've missed anything obvious as is often the case, let's be fair. So these two cells, one and two, they're not here. One of them is on the line, the second one is there. The three we've already thought about, the threes and fours are paired correctly. The sixes are paired correctly. I'm going to say the sixes in here, they kind of line up in columns five and six. So that can't be a six. That's two five, which removes two five from here and makes this one six. That is not intuitive. Let's just put it that way. That's not one, that's not six. So in here is a two five and a three. One is one of these two cells. Ones are lining up. You can see now between these two regions that can't be a one, that's a two. Therefore, this is a one six pair. And this is a five. This is a three. Yeah, this I've definitely made this harder than it, it should be. Um, the five gave me a seven, the six. So, I mean, it will probably collapse fairly quickly now. Well, here's hoping, yeah, three, seven, six, uh, five gave me two, gave me one, gave me two. But one six is resolved, one, six. Three and five are the remaining digits here. So three, five, three, five. That's another three, five. If that's three, that's four. If that's five, that's two. Again, 
uniqueness would force the issue. This is 3-5 again. That's a 3-5 pair. So that's 2-4 down here just to complete the column. That's another 3-5. These two are just known. They're 5-6, which gives me 3, gives me 5. That 5 gave me a 3 up here and a 5 there. That 5 gave me a 6, gave me a 5. So this is 1, 2, 4 down here. With this being 1, 2, this being 1, 4, and this being 2, 4. Interesting. These two cells have to add up to... Um, and the only remaining option... Have to add up to 7, and the only remaining option is 3, 4, isn't it? So that's 3, that's 4. That makes that 2, makes that 5, makes that 6, makes that 1. Gives me 2, 4, 1... Three, two, and if I've not made any mistakes, five for the finish. Um, I'm actually really curious about what was the easier thing that I was missing because, you know, it was, it was proceeding along like a very much almost like a gas or even like pre-gas uh, Sudoku. And then like it just suddenly got a lot harder for me. So really interesting to see what you guys say have to say about it. Anyhow... Pretty simple puzzle. Yeah, pretty simple puzzle. And um, if time allows, I'll try and record another one. But otherwise, I'll see you back for the next day. Bye-bye for now.